Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. And today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Dinobot Grimlock. And a very neat figure, in my opinion, but not without his flaws. But before I go into deep detail with this figure, we're going to show off the various images of the packaging itself. So let's get it on, man. Let's go! And here we have Grimlock in his dino mode. Now, this figure is an extensive retool of the Cyberverse Adventures Deluxe Class Grimlock. And uh, they did a pretty good job in retooling this guy. You know, I, I, I think so. Uh, in my opinion, anyway, it looks it looks quite accurate to, to how he appeared in the cartoon yes i have watched earthspark okay i watched the entire first season and i loved it okay i loved the show i loved earthspark okay that's just my opinion as always agree to disagree i know there are a lot of you who don't care about earthspark and that's okay you know that is okay if you don't like earthspark and you've given it a chance hey i respect your opinion but yeah <laughs> but but yeah but let's Let's get in closer here so we can take a look at the details at the head sculpt and uh, nice head sculpt of Grimlock here. Nice red paint on the top, nice blue for the eyes, uh, nice black paint on these, uh, what, are these, uh, what, is, what are these, what are these ears? <laughs> Got some nice yellow paint, uh, oh no, yellow plastic used for the, uh, for the, uh, for the dino mode. And nice blue and red paint, got black paint right here, nice red going on down the tail and a bit of yellow tail going on. And there is a little red on his weapon. It does store on top here. And let's just take a closer look at his weapon right now. And uh, it's a yellow weapon. It's a double-barreled blaster. And uh, would have been nice if it was in black. But hey, 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 word. <laughs> but would have been nice if it was in black. But hey, red and yellow. Uh, sure, sure. And of course, this can actually take some blast effects if you really want to use them. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. So it does store on top here if you want it to store, but uh, we're gonna use this gun. We're gonna use this gun a little bit later, so uh, so I'm just put this off right to the side, and uh, yeah, and yeah. Um, so now let's talk about the articulation in that. Oh wait, I forgot to show out a little bit of black paint on the uh, the dino claws, the dino arms. So uh, they don't move; they're just static right there. They're just molded into place. So yeah, um, but there's the bottom top and all that stuff going on so now let's talk about the articulation in dino mode so you can actually open his mouth very wide and there's a little pig right here so you can actually use uh, uh, the uh, the previous Grimlock's uh, 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 fire effect weapon and just plug that in there so it can actually be fire just like in the show and that's pretty cool so yeah um, his head can move down if you untab it from this tab so you can actually move down a little bit like so, but uh, the the head itself can't really move down. So yeah, um, the uh, dino arms no no articulation. Tail there is no articulation because it's tabbed into place. Um, as far as the uh, the legs go, uh, there is a ball joint right here. You can rotate it full 360. You can move out. And you guys, a ball joint right here. You can rotate. You can bend inward, <laughs> and then the claws can move up and down due to transformation and you can actually move the heel spur if you really want to so yeah but um, the only flaw that this guy has is that he has looseness issues some some looseness issues uh, some of the joints you know that he has I feel like um, yeah there's a little bit of mold degradation here with this with this figure but um, but all in all though it's still a pretty good looking Grimlock in my opinion I do quite like him and uh, he's my favorite dino he's my favorite Dinobot so so I'm glad that they actually did him justice <laughs> for Earthspark, so, so yay. But anyway, let's bring in some size comparisons. Here is Grimlock compared with the other Earthspark Deluxe Class figures from the line. So we got Bumblebee, we got Twitch, and we got Megatron, uh, who is basically the uh, the equal part of Optimus Prime because in Earthspark, you know, Megatron is a good guy. He's a, uh, he's one of those heroes, and uh, you know, he basically, be he basically became an Autobot, <laughs> which I do like. But anyway, um, 
But yeah, they look quite good together. Um, kind of wish that Megatron was a bit bigger so they can actually scale with the others. But oh uh, well, it is what it is. I know Twitch doesn't really scale with the others because she is so big, <laughs> and in the show she was tiny. <laughs> but hey, you know Earth Spark Deluxes—they're not—they're never gonna scale with each other, right? But hey, at least we're getting uh, good-looking figures of them. So anyway, uh, moving on. And there you go, there we have uh, Earthspark Grimlock compared with the Cyberverse Deluxe Class Grimlock. And uh, yeah, just like I said, you can actually take this and just plug this into his mouth. And there we go, it still works. And there we go, he is breathing fire. Roar! There we go. <laughs> Sadly, he doesn't retain the the slot on his head because he you know he can't use the crown from Cyberverse Grimlock. But oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, the amount of remolding here is like night and day. Like they don't share, uh, they don't share a lot. They don't. They really don't share a lot. Um, they basically share the uh, the fists and the uh, the here this right here this this part right here. They do share that. But other than that, you know, uh, they share this this hinge, this this armature right here, and uh, but other than that, they don't they don't share a lot. They really don't share a lot. <laughs> like it's pretty much everything's everything's been retooled here. So yeah, yeah, they did a really good job. They did a really good job in making them pretty much different from each other. So yeah, because this feels like a totally different figure. So yeah, I'm 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 impressed. I'm really impressed. By the amount of retooling that they did to the figure. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the dino uh, for the ultimate comparisons right here. And so, without further ado, let us transform Mr. Grimlock into his robot mode. That's actually a, a reference to Earth Park because Jawbreaker actually called Grimlock Mr. Grimlock. So. Like a teacher, but anyway. Um, so uh, first things first, you want to take the uh, the fist right here, bring them down, and yeah, the hinge here is a little bit on the loosey doosey side, but uh, well, it is what it is. And uh, you know, for Cyberverse Grimlock, uh, the claws were meant to go down, but but for Earthspark Grimlock, it's supposed to go up for transformation. Ah, it's supposed to go up. There we go. A little bit different from Cyberverse Grimlock. And flip up the claws, bring down the fist, and. There we go. And you want to rotate the arm so that everything is oriented properly. And just rotate the arm. And there we go. We got the arms all done. He is a weird dino with four arms now. <laughs> but anyway, um, you want to uh, take this section right here. You want to untab, untab. Just untab from the foot. Like so. Bring down the foot. And there's his robot mode head. And you want to take the other foot and just untab it. Just like so. And then you want to split all of this. They tab together. So you split all of this, and like so. And you want to rotate the waist to the forefront, just like that. And now you can take this whole assembly right here. Just uh, bring these out so you can have this uh, this wing this wing situation here. And then you want to bring the uh, the dino head right here. Actually, you want to bring this piece right here. Just rotate this around, and that will loop into place. And then there is a little tab that goes into the slot right here. It doesn't really hold that well. It, it, sometimes it just wants to untab itself. But anyway, it just tab, it tabs in right there. And then just bring bring this head down until it just... Like so, I told you. So, I told you. It doesn't really hold that well. But anyway, just bring the head down. And there we go. We got the backpack situated. So now, let's deal with the legs here. And I believe they improved the uh, they improved upon the uh, tolerances on this figure because uh, the previous version of the mold uh, this swivel right here was a bit too tight. So um, so now I think they've loosened it and you can easily rotate it to the side without popping off the leg. And that's a major improvement right there. So I'm glad they fixed that. And uh, just bring this up and then you can just tab in the shin right there. Just tab that in and then bring up the foot like so and bring down this piece of the tail and there you have a leg all done and ready so do the same thing on the other side uh, you want to swing this down swing this around and then you want to rotate at the thigh and then swing all this up and that will tab into place just like that and then bring the foot back just like so bring the tail down 
And whoops, this came untapped. I don't know why this came untapped. Uh, it's not tabbed in. Right, there we go. Now it's tapped in right. There we go. <laughs> but then, uh, there we go. We got the legs all done. We just bring the arms down. Bring the arms down. And I think we're done with the transformation here. So there you go. There we have our Spark Grimlock fully transformed into his robot mode. And I think he looks pretty cool. I dig it. I really dig the design of this Grimlock. I really like his character as well. Uh, his character was uh, really well written. Uh, because Grimlock has PTSD and that's just awesome, you know. I like I like it when characters have ha, uh, have those traits to them because it makes them feel more real, you know. Has them more personality and all that stuff, and yeah, has more emotions to them. So um, so yeah, so I do like that. I really do like that for Grimlock. So so yeah. But anyway, let's take him close here. It's going to take a look at the head sculpt of the robot mode, and uh, yeah, very nicely done head sculpt. Very screen accurate. I do quite like that. There's a lot of a uh, lot, of, lot of chin going on there. <laughs> Uh, he has nice blue for the visor and all that stuff. He has an Autobot symbol. Unfortunately, the Autobot symbol on my copy is a little bit scratched up, but it is what it is. A bit of red paint going on here. A little bit of black going on. Red paint for the crotch. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a lot of red for the, uh, the legs right here. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty, pretty good. I just wish that this the the swivel the, the hinge here was a little bit tighter so but oh well it is what it is so but yeah I do quite dig the look of Mr. Grimlock here so very nice so now let's talk about the articulation with Mr. Grimlock um <laughs> I keep calling him Mr. Grimlock hey <laughs> But anyway, um, his head is on a ball joint. It can rotate side to side. Can't really rotate your full 360 because the collar. Uh, um, yeah, he can look up quite a bit. He can't really look down. Uh, the shoulders, they can rotate a full 360. They can move in and out. You have elbow uh, ball joint at the elbow, so you can swivel left and right. He, can, uh, he does have a, an, an elbow joint, eh, slightly under 90 degrees of bend. Hands can move inward due to transformation. Uh, he has a waist rotation. He, uh, the legs can move that far, can move back that far. He has a uh, thigh swivel, which is really nice. And he has a knee bend, eh, about under 90 degrees of bend right there. And he, the feet can move down due to transformation and he does have Lots of ankle tiltage there, but the ankle tilt joint is a little bit on the loosey doosey side, and uh, that's a bit unfortunate, but oh well. It is what it is, but on all though, pretty good articulation for a for an Earth Spark Deluxe. So, pretty standard, pretty standard articulation here. So, but anyway, so uh, he can actually hold his gun. Yes, he can hold his gun. So, let's bring in his gun right here. Um, can it store in dino mode? And no. I don't believe it can. I don't think so. Uh, there's no way to store it in dino mode, but I don't care because he's just gonna hold it in his hand. So let's just hold it into his hand, just like that. And there you go, he can shoot some Decepticons down. Although I don't remember him having a gun in the show, but maybe he will have the gun in the show, you know, in the future episodes, you know, in the next season, I hope. But, but yeah. Yeah, I really like this guy. Really dig him. So, let's bring in some size comparisons right now. And here we have Grimlock compared with the Earth Spark Deluxes, uh, the other Earth Spark Deluxes that I that I own. Um, we got Twitch, Bumblebee, and Megatron. And uh, yeah, the scaling is just <laughs> not not accurate. You know, not accurate scale. But who cares about the scale? You know. All I'm looking for is just good figures of the Earth Park line, and uh, these these serve as good figures from the Earth Park line because they are pretty poseable. They're not hindered by any gimmicks. They have nice transformations, nice and easy transformations, and they're they're all fun. They're all fun to mess with, and uh, yeah, I really like these figures. Really like them, and I can't wait to get Nightshade. Um, I'll be getting uh, Nightshade uh, in a few days, in a couple days, uh, so that I can actually have the torso of the Mandroid, and I can start connecting pieces together. Um, and then I need to get Optimus Prime 
to get the other leg, and then Mandroid is complete. No, Shockwave and Starscream will not see the light of day in my collection because they are just lazy repaints of the Cyberverse Luxes that I own. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get those figures, and I don't really care for the alternate arms, so yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. And so there you go! Here we have Earth Spark Grimlock compared with the Cyberverse Lux Class Grimlock, and uh, yeah, a lot of remolding between the two. And honestly, I'm very impressed with the amount of remolding that Hasbro did. I'm not sure if they even share the same neck. Do they share the same neck? Um, no, the neck is totally different. Totally different mold there, and yeah, they even remolded the neck. <laughs> They remolded the chest, the uh, the front, of the, the they remolded the feet, the front, of the shins. Uh, they remolded the shoulders. They remolded the crotch. The only pieces that they share here are the fists, the forearms, and of course the hips and the thighs. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it that they share. So, uh, and poor Cyberverse Grimlock is uh, is yellowed. It's, it's, oh man, he's yellowing. It's just. This. Oh man, I really hope my Earth Spark Grimlock doesn't yellow. I really hope so. Um, but, but yeah, night and day between these two figures. Like this, this guy totally looks like a brand new figure. Like totally, totally. And yeah, they did a really good job. They did a really good job. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. And of course, one more thing that this guy includes. It is the. Build a figure part for Mandroid, and this is the right leg of Mandroid. Sure, it's the right leg. <laughs> so and there's a swivel right here, and that's it. That's it for articulation. No, no ankle tilt, all that stuff. Uh, the uh, the the shoe is <laughs> made out of the softish bendy plastic, uh, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. And uh, yeah, it comes to the right leg. So now we have the right leg. We have the backpack section we have the right arm we have the the head and the left arm so we have all these pieces of the mandroid and once we get nightshade we can connect these pieces together and uh yeah and then of course i need to get prime for the other legs so yeah but there you go yeah progress we're, we are we are getting there we're getting there we're getting there guys we're almost done with the mandroid and i'm very i'm very excited i am very very excited so if I can finish Macadam, I can finish the Mandroid, so yeah. Alright, uh, let's move on to our final thoughts. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Grimlock. And a very nicely done figure in my opinion. The robot mode looks pretty good. The dino mode looks quite good and quite clean in my opinion. Um, transformation was smooth, it's enjoyable, you know. it. Uh, very nicely done transformation here, so definitely a fun figure to mess with. Uh, pretty decent articulation for an Earth Spark Deluxe. You know, I'm not expecting you know masterpiece level engineering here. You know, everything is like nice and simple, straight to the point. Um, the amount of retooling that they did to the Cyberverse mold, you know, to get Earth Spark Grimlock out of it, uh, they did a really great job with it, and. Uh, He's super screen accurate, very screen accurate, way more screen accurate than the Shockwave and Starscream from Earth Spark. You know, those two figures are just no. <laughs> uh, because I'm an Earth Spark fan, I really wanted good figures of Shockwave and Starscream, and yet they just you know repainted these Cyberverse molds, and that's it. Yeah, that's all they gave them. So, oh well, it is what it is. But. Uh, <laughs> But for Grimlock here, they did a really good job in my opinion. Uh, it's just that some of the joints are a little bit, you know, looser than I would like. Um, like the ankle tilts, you know, and and of course the backpack you know, not wanting to uh, stay tabbed in super securely. I mean, it does stay stay tab in, but sometimes it just wants to uh, untab itself. And the hinge right here, uh, where the uh, the uh, dino head is, uh, that's a little bit loose and that's a bit unfortunate. But other than that. Very nicely done figure in my opinion. I am quite quite pleased with this Mr. Grimlock. And I do like the gun. I like the gun as well. The gun is a nice touch. Even though it didn't really appear on the show. <laughs> and of course you get another part of the Mandroid. And I'm excited. I'm excited to complete the Mandroid. You know, I, I have no problem with it. So yeah, it's a simple thing, simple basic thing. So, yeah. 
So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yes, uh, now I got this figure from One Toy. If you want to get an Earth Spark figure of your own, uh, definitely hunt it down. You know, hunt the figures around. You know, in your targets, you know, Walmart, all that stuff, or, or your Toys R Us if you have one um, in your country. And uh, yeah, you just hunt it down. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, if I were to recommend any figure from the Earth Spark line, uh, just get the Deluxes. The Deluxes are the best part of Earth Spark in my opinion. And uh, and uh, you know, uh, they're very highly recommended. So they're just fun figures, f fun figures to mess with, in my opinion. So, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Earth Park Reviews playlist for any videos I may have missed. So I'll post a link to that playlist in the, in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Grimlock. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all of one, and I'll see you guys next time. Me Grimlock King. Greetings Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.